Hi, I'm Bex. This is my face. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving back into the Create This Book by Mariah Elizabeth. I am so excited to share with you what I've been doing in here this week. So let's just get on into it. So it seemed appropriate that the first page I do in the Create This Book should be the Create a Rule page. I gave this a bit of thought before I got started and at first I thought, well, how can I make this book as absolutely as creepy as possible? So I originally thought I would do a skull or a bat or something spooky on every page or only use dark colors or, or something like that. And then I just had so much fun this week doing that banana drawing. You guys, I just, it had to be bananas. It had to be bananas. So I decided I wanted to include a banana, either whole or just the peel or a slice on every single page of this book and every illustration that I do. I want to include a banana somewhere. So to illustrate that, I decided I just wanted a, to fill this page with bananas. I wanted a portrayal of every way that I could draw a banana. So I have some that are all by themselves. I have bunches of bananas. I have bananas that are half peeled, but just the peel of the banana and then piles of banana slices piled all around just because I wanted a visual reminder that it, there is more than one way to draw a banana. I had so much fun with this illustration. When I first went in with the colors on this, I got a little frightened uh, because it, I'm using uh, the Ohuhu markers, it's alcohol inks, and the paper I'm using just sucks it right up. So everything looks so much darker when I first put it down on paper, but then as it dries, it lightens up. So like it turned out okay, but it gave me a whole series of mini heart attacks throughout this whole illustration because I'd put a color down and think, oh no, it's way too dark, what have I done? But the, it lightened up after it dried, and so like everything turned out fine. Bananas are quickly becoming one of my favorite thing to draw. I don't know why that is. That's weird. But there it is. And I think the best decision I made on this entire page was I really wanted the bananas to pop. And like, yeah, they stand out on a white page because they're the only thing in color. But I decided to make the background blue um, so that they would really just stand out and it would be a bold and vibrant page and I think I succeeded in what I was trying to do. I am so so happy with how it turned out and I love that a banana on every page is my rule for this book which I immediately break in the next set of pages. You'll see. So for the next page, I decided to do the create a fan page. Now there are very few things I'm more of a fan of than Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Now this page did give me some trouble though. My first idea was I wanted to do like a dorm room kind of scene with a bed and a desk and then maybe whoever lives in this room is a super Harry Harry Potter fan and just has all of these collectible things, all their decor is Harry Potter, like that's kind of what I wanted to do and then I was gonna hide a banana in there. And I actually had the entire thing sketched out, I was about to sit down and ink the whole thing and it just wasn't doing it for me. I mean, I'd spent so much time sketching it out and I just didn't like it and instead of just pushing ahead like I usually do with things I don't like <laughs> I decided I would scrap it and I would try something else and that's where I came up with this design where I just wanted to take some of the things from Harry Potter that I really like and just put them all on a page together like no rhyme or reason to it just put them on the page together without trying to make a whole little like scene and I'm really happy with how it turned out so I've got the time turner the golden snitch, I have um, a quill, the deathly hallows, a wand, and this potion that I have here. 
originally I was thinking I would make the potion blue because I really I wanted the page to be predominantly blue and yellow uh, mostly because blue um, I am a Ravenclaw so I wanted to have a lot of blue on this page but then I thought since it is a fan page and it's things that I love why not have the potion spilling out be a love potion so I made it pink for a love potion because I love Harry Potter and yeah um, I ended up, um, I broke the spine of the book so that I would lay it flat and I broke it just a little too much. So I had to cut the page in half to, to glue it in there. But apart from that, like I'm really, really happy with how this page turned out. I, I really love it. The last page I decided to do for this week is the create quick sketches page. So you're meant to set a timer for one minute and in one minute or less, you draw something and then you repeat. You know, you, you keep drawing more things, but always in one minute or less. So I didn't want to just sketch willy-nilly on the page. I wanted there to be some kind of order to it, some other kind of theme. So I decided I wanted it to look like a gallery wall. So I drew a bunch of little picture frames that I would do my quick sketches in and then Right, so I set my timer, I did each sketch in one minute or less. And I went through, I inked a few bits of them just so that they would stand out a little bit more against the frames. I added just a little bit of shading and then cut out all my frames and arranged them in a little gallery on my page. Now in the background of these pages, I added some chalk pastels um, and wiped that around on there just to have some kind of color um, on this page but I'm very happy with how it turns out turned out it's very simple but I really really like it so that's it those are the three pages I did this week in the create this book by Mariah Elizabeth create a rule page with all of the bananas I think this has got to be my favorite page I've done so far fan page for Harry Potter create quick sketches page and did a little gallery wall for my sketches I did go back over this one with some packing tape because I had that chalk pastel in the background and I didn't want it getting onto my sketches and then because there were so many small pieces that I had to glue in I wanted to to make sure that they weren't going anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post. I post here every Monday, Thursday, and every Saturday is the new episode of Create This Book. So make sure you come back to see what I'm up to Monday. And if you wanna see more Create This Book pages, make sure to come back Saturday to see what I've been up to next week. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I need this. You guys.